Welcome, folks, to Smooth Jazz with Drakey Attic. Today, we're experiencing the subtle tunes of Super Robot Wars T. Yeah, let's dig it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, folks. We're here with the smooth styles of Robot Wars T, where we pick up where we left off last time. All right, folks, no, to be all honestly here, though, we are picking up where we left off. Basically, we're going to look at what takes place after combat, what they call the intermission. Um, it's really just a time between scenarios where you can do dialogue, upgrading your ship. Um, I have no idea, really. We're going to experience it for the first time here, so... Let's go ahead and hop in here, check this shiznit out. So let's continue where we left off in the first video, at the President's office. I have here a letter of appointment. Proposal T-1023 Project TND has been approved. Of April 1st, Special Section 3 will carry out air experiments under direct control of the company President. That guy will be named Section Chief, and this person will be named Manager. <laughs> I'm not trying to pronounce these names, folks. It's an honor. I'll leave it up to you to find other team members. Understood. I'm expecting good things. Of course, of our company's future. And the Earth. Okay. Excuse me. I me to yawn in the middle of the videos. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to draw out its full potential on my own. You're far more humble than your appearance would suggest. Or maybe cowardly is the better word. My apologies, sir. My explanation lacked clarity. If we convert the Tornado to a two-seater, I can guarantee you success. Sounds like I may need to take back what I said about you earlier. The Union is better than everything the Tornado, it only fits that I do the same. That's the spirit. People like you I want in charge around here. I've got an idea. Why don't we post the girls headed to the combat R D and D or R and D section two section three Okay, I can't read this shit today, folks. I've had too many drinky drinks and I can't read shit. Er, well actually I'm leaving HR matters to you. Go ahead and mull it over. Yes, sir. <laughs> he looks thrilled for that. I'll be expecting big things from you, Special Section 3. And you, Manager. Yeah. I love the way that sounds, sir. Ooh, he's giving him that, that uh, special look there. Ooh, I love the way that sounds. Power Part VTX Employee Guidelines Acquired. $50,000 in funds acquired. Well, okay, now we're talking here, folks. 500 tech P acquired. I don't know what that... I don't know what the fuck that is. What's funny is I watched a video on tech P earlier today, and I don't know what that is. Power part SP collector acquired. Okay. $100,000 in funds acquired. Okay. 1,000 tech P acquired. I think some of this I got from playing the tutorial. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh boy, what is this? Whew. Like I said, folks, there's a lot of stuff on here. Um, okay. Wow. All right. So first score is an S score. Nice. I like that. Or is that a five? Is that a five or an S? I can't tell. We'll say it's a five probably. Pilot list. Well, it's going to be just me for now. Um, you can't have up a bunch of people on your pilot list. I don't know how many, but I do know that you can focus on your favorites if you want. And that's kind of what the tutorial suggested. So once Cowboy Bebop comes out, um, on here or whenever I come across them, they're definitely going to be snagged up in my team. Um, and we'll see what some of the other ones are. Um, I really don't know. There's that Harkin or Hawken anime, Captain Hawken or Harkin space pirate he's actually his pirate ships on the cover 
I recognize the pirate ship. I never seen the anime. I think it's on Netflix, but I don't have Netflix at the moment. I'm gonna have to snag a month of that just to check that out. Um, Mech Bliss. Okay, it's just me. Search. Ooh. What's a spirit command? Intuition triggers both bullseye and flash. Okay. Self target and it's instant. I don't, okay. I'm learning here, folks. Skill learning. Parameter up. Increase your parameter pilot. Oh. All right. I've got tech points. And we can up. Ooh, shit. And I watched a video on this today. Oh, well, let's up my hit points. Let's just, let's just test it out. The evade, defense, probably defense would be a good one to up, wouldn't it? Let's up that by two. Sure. I don't know what the fuck I just did. Okay. I think we're updating our stats here. All right, before I get too far into updating much, this is the first time I'm doing it. Um, all right, we updated our defense a little bit. Probably still need more hit points though. All right, we're gonna stop there with updating stuff because I think you only get so many tech points. Oh shit, did I use a lot of tech points already? Oh. Alright, well I'm sure we'll get more. Anyways, let's continue on. Skills. I remember ignore size. Ignore one size worth the damage penalty per level when attacking larger opponents. For level two, an S size unit does L size damage. Increase final accuracy and final evasion percentage when the morale is 130 or higher. Support defend. Take a damage of an attack target at an adjacent ally. Uh, decrease energy consumption for weapons. The higher skill level, the greater the effect. Decreases energy consumption for weapons. So this is probably not a bad thing to have, honestly. Uh, increase the accuracy. Increase final accuracy and final evasion percentage on the morale. I think this ignore final size is probably something to have. Alright. We're just, we're just playing shots in the dark here. I don't know if I can change these later or not, folks. Alright. So customization. Total funds. Oh, that's my hit points actually. Well shit, I don't I don't know what the fuck I just did. I put all my funds in there. We're broke. <laughs> no. Uh, well, I probably need more energy, right? I wouldn't hurt to have some mobility. Probably good to have some armor. Alright, we're gonna start off small. I'm spending thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, let's just start small. We'll up the rep weapon rank one. Ooh.
Oh, okay. This is... Alright, we got Mecha Cyclopedia. Must be as you come across them. Special scenario. Oh, that's just replaying the last one. Okay, we're gonna not get too far into that. Save your game and load. Alright, let's save our game. I guess that's all we can do. Well, let's hop in and see what the next map is and go from there. Test facility. Facility number one, hangar. Hey. I'm Meryl. And hey, I'm Amy. Can I help you? That guy taking a nap over there, isn't he the manager or something? Yes, yes he is. He was testing section two before signed here. So he's the beast in the necktie I've heard so much about. Glad to finally put a face to the name. The beast in the necktie. I used to be in engineering. He was known for destroying test mechs all the time. Like a wild animal wearing a necktie. Putting test mechs through such rigorous testing, the pilot must be inhuman. Or so the person in charge said. Wow. I'm Meryl, by the way, from engineering. And we are smooth jazz. Mmm, yeah. Oh yeah, you're the engineering section one, right? I've heard about you, yeah. I'm Amy's Ernest. I was assigned to Special Section 3 from General Affairs. Mmm, yeah. Mmm. Mm. No wonder you know about me and the beast in the necktie. You must know I was effectively booted. Well, you're not alone. It seems like I was forced out too. So basically, we're a dumping ground for rejects. Yeah. Just play the jazz, and that's where the rejects go. Mmm. To section three, yeah. We're signed with me, they're told we meet directly under president's control. I see everyone's here. We gathered five minutes early, sir. Wait a second. I don't think he was asleep. Pretty sure he heard us talking. I was only half awake. Scratch that. He heard us. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Chief of Section 3, I'm glad you're on the team. Miss Spana and Ernest, I believe this is the first we've met in person. Just Meryl's fine, sir. Uh, of course. You're from engineering. That's right. They're all about communicating on first name basis to help build team unity. We shall do the same then, assuming that's fine with you. It's a custom I'm not a fond of, but if that's what you like, sir, I'm no reason to object. Hey, I think she just dissed engineering. That bitch. Okay then, Meryl Amy's, this is such a, this is Drakeonic. Call me Drakeonic. Glad to have you aboard. The beast in the necktie. He's gonna be my boss, and I haven't heard a good thing about him, but from this day forward, Special Section 3 is fully operational and I'm expecting us to be the same page. Still working on voices, guys, but like I said, I've had too many drinky drinks. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'll have to do these again later. Not this video, but other videos of the same game later with uh, not so many drinky drinks, Chief. It was an understanding that our duties include gathering data. But it's good as I supposed to be here? 
accounting experience. Okay. Uh, it's a test new Mercs Bex, but it's also set to been set up to test management style. Okay. Yeah, I truly can't talk, guys. Um, is there something greasy on my microphone stand? Okay, anyway, so uh, on with the ultimate goal of becoming financially independent. We need to perceive ourselves as a small company within the company. Alright, yes, that's where your skills in, from general affairs and counting come in. We're supposed to do all that with just the four of us? Not quite. So we have one more staff member. And they're running late. No, she's heading over after participating in the company's new hire ceremony. She just joined the company. Excuse me. I'm sorry I'm late. Hello everyone. I'm Rami and today is my first day at XVT Union as members of Section 3. There's still a lot I don't know, and it's time for me to take my blood pressure. <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry. Um, but I'm fast learner, and I can't wait to get started. You must be the fifth member. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Alright, correct me. There's a lot of dialogue in this. As I'm sure you surmise, she's my daughter. Uh-oh. Haha, I don't blame you for being surprised. I'm not much of a resemblance, is there? It must be the milkman's baby. Uh, no worries. We're a team now. I want everyone to feel comfortable. Well then, I've got something to say. This is a bunch of bullshit. What is it? It was my understanding that Section 3 was, crea was created to oversee projects that will shape the fate of the company. If she's a new hire, then there was clearly some stir... String pulling involved. I'm not comfortable with this. I think Meryl's trying to say is she's not fond of someone getting hired through personal connection. Leave it. Let's leave it at that. Okay. But father. No. You're only going to make things worse. So shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Pardon me, sir. Well, it doesn't exactly bode well. Oh, please, you're the last person who gets to say that beast in a necktie. You seem calm and collective, but you've got a short temper. No wonder they called you Meltdown Merrill. Ha 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 ha, that bitch just got owned. Listen, we're all grown-ups here. Let's keep things professional and stop with the nicknames, all right? You can call me Drakeyotic instead. You haven't tried to talk about it, so I guess... You're owning up to the whole beast in the necktie moniker. Alright, I expect no less from Miss Straight from the General Affairs straight to the middle. I'm working on it, I swear. Can we steer the discussion back towards uh, just a bit of work now? Okay. What was that? Wait. A level A alert? A level A fire? It goes off in the potential attack on the office. What? Didn't they explain that to you at the orientation? We're a big company. This thing's happen all the time. This isn't really good though. Level A means nearby Federation forces won't be able to make it in time. <laughs> well now, it's time to kick some fucking ass. Grab what by the horns? The dick by the horns. Oh. Um... Okay, yep, okay. What? As long as you're members of Section 3, we have to find the opportunity. So let's... Let's kick ass. Come on, let's hurry up. One, two, three, kick ass. Alright, come with me. Yep, go on. We're... Yep, okay. It's supposed to be a special vehicle section. Now we're off. Time is money. Sure, seems a bit like it. Chief Iman. Over here, rookie. Over where? Over there! <laughs> Over here in the Tornado with me. What? Well, you're taking a newbie, the daughter, right away in the Tornado. Scenario 1. Project TND starts. 
All right, folks, we're going to pause right here on this one. Um, don't worry. I plan on continuing. Uh, I don't know how long the combat will take. I really don't want to keep you guys tied up. So we're going to pause here for now. That's kind of like the stuff that happens in between. I don't know how long the dialogue really is between this stuff. I don't know if it's just because it's the introduction. Or if there's going to be long lengthy convos in between. And I'm okay with that. And I'll try not to skip through it too quickly for you guys. I'm not going to do a lot of videos right away on this. I might do some throughout for a little while here. I kind of want to get you an idea on the combat. And then the in-betweens. And... I got a couple minutes. I might just see what happens here. Um, I hear you're a certified data processor. Talents to monitor the radar and keep an eye on the conditions. Chief, what's, what should I be doing? Just shut up and look pretty, bitch. Meryl, you're in charge of weapon development during your time of engineering, correct? The role is to command the Tornado as it fights on the front lines and provide weaponry as necessary. I need you to send the Tornado's appropriate weapon based on the battle conditions. Understood. I'll take the helm. Let's do our best, everyone. Ah. There goes the Tornado. So that's what it looks like, huh? Big, beefy, beautiful son of a bitch, you. The company's riding on that thing. Time to kick some fucking ass. Alright, let's get started in the battle, then I'll stop it. Hey, rookie. Word is you originally supposed to be in combat. That's where I applied to, but... The division in charge of mobile weapon development? Guess she studied up on that stuff while she was in school, snooty bit. <laughs> Battles happen on the battlefield. The best place to learn while sitting in that seat, not at a desk. But, but, but I don't, I don't have a pilot suit. Shut up. Philosophy. It teaches the VXT spirit all employees should have. There's 48 in total. People are treasures. In other words, human resource is the most valuable resource. In the line of this spirit, the Tornado is designed to be safe so that it can be piloted without a suit. But what the fuck? Don't worry, bitch. We got this. What? I'll protect you. With my big mecha suit. Enemies approaching. Oh, just four of them? Oh shit, we got this, dudes. Alright, we got. We got. They're not emitting ID signals. He must be a terrorist or a grudge. People hate our company that much. Whatever you go, you always have not jealous of halves yeah so <laughs> being that this game is only usually in the far east countries um translation wise may not always translate a hundred percent but i get what he's trying to say um all right Textbook play here should hold out until reinforcements arrive. We're not outnumbered. Yeah, this is the best time to show off. Alright, come on. Let's get it. Up, up. So your job is to determine the best course of action. Make it count, rookie. I know it's your first day and all, but we got a job to do and we got to kick ass. So let's do it. Let's kick ass. Uh, I just want to kick some ass. You need results. You can stay. You can say you tried your best if you fail. You can't say you tried your best if you fail. Okay. Then you want, what do you want me to do? Shut up so we can fight. Listen, you don't try to do a good job. You do a good job. That's actually not bad. That's not bad to, to live life by. All right, let's do this. Yes, we're ready. Let's do this. Let's fight. All right, defeat all enemies. Use all of the weapons and we'll get extra point conditions. All right. 
Let's move. Jump right out here. Let's attack. So we have three weapons. We need to move them all to get the extra SP. Let's kick your ass. Only second raiders are satisfied with merely coming up on top. The first rate employee seizes victory. I'm not sure most companies make their employees pilot mobile weapons. Dude, that'd be awesome though. Good fucking mech ro robot suits just fucking battling out. That would be cool as fuck. Alright, is this happening? Yes. I exactly, Drakeotic. If you don't close your mouth, we're gonna accidentally bite your tongue off. Just fucking battle already. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. This is a different game than I normally play, guys. I don't normally play a game like this. Uh, this is out of my comfort zone. Let's put it that way. But because how epic these boss battles look, and the fact that Cowboy Bebop is in this, I am willing to give this game a go. Um, I can't believe we actually dodged that. Is she in the suit too? Oh, you can select. Okay, maybe pilot skills, maybe? There's a series of videos I found on YouTube. Um, I'll try to remember to post them in the link below. I don't know. <laughs> this I'm recording this kind of way in advance than when it'll actually post. Um but it breaks down the core mechanics of the game I'm gonna have to watch it a couple times oh he's gonna take him down yeah blast that fucker explosion is this the end? Yeah, that's the end, dude. Not really. This, this one might be a little bit longer. <laughs> is it just me or did another one come in? We attack from here. Alright, we, 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 which one did we use the first time? I'll just go from top to bottom on the weapons and maybe we'll make sure we use them all. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna die in this place. Nice. I'm gonna have to dig into what all these extra features do and extra stuff. Uh, Counterattack this fucker with this guy right here. This is overkill, basically, I think. Oh, this is badass. <laughs> that was a bit overkill, but oh my god, that was awesome. Nice, got 10,000 bonus. More identified enemies approaching. Jovian Federation. Oh shit.
Sorry, I'm just kind of quickly reading. But this Twilight Age has us up to eyeballs and terrorists. That's GGG's big vulgar flaw Allow me to assist you. Nice. Do we get extra help? Dude, are those Gundams? Those Gundams? Dude, I like the hair of the snake. I think those are mobile suit Gundams. Alright folks, I was about to end the game right here, but this thing just took a turn. Just take a turn for the awesomeness. Alright, let's do one round with these extra ones and I'll bid you adieu for now. Alright, um, okay, let's, what's up with this guy? Okay, defeat all enemies. Any ally unit is defeated out in the, the big mission. We've already acquired the SP points. So let's do this. I'm gonna turn that off. Just to make it a little bit quicker, we're gonna defend. Should have countered. Because then I probably run the risk of uh Alright. Let's see what kind of damage they do on a fully HP'd. And they're gone. He's out of there. Oh, okay. Whoa. Well, oh, this is weird. So, do I level up and then my co-pilot levels up separately? Like, independently? Ooh. I'm gonna have to do some more research into this, folks. Alright, let's see what our mobile suit Gundam friends can do. I'm pretty sure this is a mobile suit Gundam. still alive you a sicko All right. uh... okay HP 95 so that's the one I fought All right. See what this guy does. So it's cool as it uses the anime's art style. Any theme songs. Voice actors, if I'm not mistaken. Well, some of the voice actors. At least Cowboy Bebop has the voice actors, from my understanding. I don't know about some of these other ones, but it has the voice actors. Um, this is epic. Guys, this is just truly epic. Um, let's do this one. Let's pack this guy. 
Fuck enemy is this? What the? What the fuck, dude? This is amazing. It's Beyblade. Holy shit. Man, that is fucking crazy, guys. That guy exploded, yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it here because this video went a little bit longer than expected. Um, I was just wanting to show you the mechanics of the middle shit, but then we jumped into combat. All right, guys, Super Robot Wars 2 is amazing. Check it out. Again, as I mentioned in the first video, if you're interested in this, make sure you look at what version you get you want the Asia version you don't want the Japanese version unless you can speak Japanese and read it then go for it if you want English and understand what's going on pick up the Asia version it's on play Asia Amazon they have a bunch of other games too um, check it out it's actually localized in the States on Steam for Super Robot Wars 30 so check that out if you're interested um, expect more videos in the future because I will be posting more on this um, so yeah, till next time, peace.